today on Turned Up Tech, we're talking about art and technology mixed together. We have a special guest. Her name is Ashley Kang, and I will be doing an interview with Robert Vargas on the streets of downtown LA. So don't go anywhere and stay tuned for Turn Up Tech. Hello and welcome to the final episode of Turned Up Tech. I'm your host, Neil Kumar, and what a show we've got for you guys tonight. Today we've got a guest host, the lovely Delilah Cotto. Welcome to the show, Delilah. Why, thank you, Neil. I'm very happy to be here. We're happy to have you. <laughs> On today's show, we're going to be talking about art and technology and how it has its influence on the industry. Now, technology plays a part on every industry nowadays, from fishing, to boxing, to you name it, every industry is covered by technology. Now, art is a very specialist subject. Why? Because art is thousands of years old. Now, recently, artist David Hockney just did a piece at the London Tate Gallery on iPads and iPhones, which he actually personally did on every iPhone and iPad himself. Now, technology has helped evolve art, and it just goes to show that an old artist like David Hockney is using technology to evolve, it just shows how we're getting on with things. Now, I'm going to pass you on to the lovely Delilah that's going to be talking to the audience and asking them how they use art or technology together. Thank you. That's right. I will be asking you guys in just one second all about uh, art and technology. Uh, but also, I wanted to say that I am looking forward to our special guest that we have tonight. She's very talented and very young. And she is one of the people who we will be talking about in terms of uh, connecting art with technology. Uh, now, speaking of which, is there anyone here that does that already at home, perhaps with an app? Uh, that is connecting art with technology. Do we have any artists or artists? Oh my goodness, quite a few quite it a seems. Yeah. Oh wow, okay, well I'm gonna ask for some volunteers because we're going to do, play a little game. Um, so it will be a contest. We will have an iPad for whomever volunteers and you will demonstrate exactly how we combine art and technology. Now, do I have any volunteers? Okay, well, this lady here, what is your name? Uh, Gladys. Gladys. Gladys, well, thank you for volunteering. She's going to be our first contestant. And, oh, awesome. Adela. Adela, it was nice to meet you both, and thank you for volunteering. So, uh, very shortly, we will go to uh, our contest after the show, of course. Guys. I would just like to say thank you for everyone who's been following us on the social medias, uh, the questions you've been asking us, the ideas and tips and the pictures as well. So thank you very much, guys. <laughs> Hello, today we are introducing the app Pen and Ink, which is a free sketching app created by Stepping Stone Staffware. The benefits of Pen and Ink, you ask? Well, there's a tool for everyone. You've got option of various watercolours, pens and brushes to choose from. It's easy to share your artworks with social media, such as Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. How do you get started? Firstly, download the app, of course. Secondly, choose a background of your choice. Thirdly, choose a brush or pen of your choice. Fourth, choose from the various ranges of colors available to you. And fifth, let your imagination flow, start making beautiful pieces, and share them with the rest of the world. Welcome back to Turned Up Tech. My name is Delilah Cotto, and today on our show we are focusing on art with technology. Here to help us with that concept is our special guest, 
Ashley Kang. Hi, Ashley. How are you today? I'm great. You're great. That's awesome. Is this your first time ever on television? Um, yes. And it is definitely our first time having someone as young as you. How old are you? Do you mind telling the audience? I turned 11 this March. Oh, wow. So happy belated birthday. You are really young and obviously very talented since you are the youngest on our show. So let me ask you some questions. Uh, one, the first thing I'd like to do uh, before getting into art is find out what are some of your favorite things to do in general? Um, well, of course, I love to draw. Of course. Um, I also love to read. Wow, you like to read. That's awesome. Um, I like to sing also. You write. do? So you're just sort of this all-around artistic, creative person, huh? I guess. I think so. So who inspired you, by the way, to do art? Um, I think my parents both inspired me. They did? How, how old were you when you started uh, drawing? I don't know. I've been drawing ever since I can remember. So you were just born and you popped out and you were like, <laughs> I'm going to start drawing. <laughs> the youngest I can remember myself drawing is when I was like this little kid, about three or four. You can remember that far back, oh my goodness. <laughs> um, I had been drawing something for my parents on this like magnet board or something. Okay. And then um, I loved it when I finished it, and I was like, oh my gosh, my mom and dad, take a picture of this. Oh no. <laughs> You're like, my artwork wants a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, so let me ask you, we talked a little bit before the show about culture and its influence on perhaps how you got here, where you are now. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Um, well, like in Korea, the culture is that um, when a on the baby's first birthday, they would set out um, a few items in front of the baby, um, like a pencil, um, a baseball bat, and stuff. And then the baby would choose one. And Just so a pencil and a baseball bat. No, there are <laughs> there are more like um, some like things that represent general jobs. Oh, okay. And like then careers, different yeah. locations, very nice. And then the baby would choose one, and supposedly. That would determine their future. Wow, that's brilliant. What did you choose? Ironically, I chose a pen mouse. I mean, like, not a pen mouse, but just a mouse. A mouse from a computer? Yeah. Wow, and thus art and technology. <laughs> very nice, very nice. So, who, okay, so your parents inspired you and they brought this. I mean, we need to incorporate that into American culture, don't you think? <laughs> so, I was told also that your father gives you assignments to improve upon your artwork. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, um, I had gotten a sketchbook um, near the start of the school year. And then for a while, I just started like drawing like crazy and just like started like drawing like random things. But then for after a while, I found that I didn't know what to draw. So I went to my dad and asked him to give me an assignment. He was rather surprised. Really? But for, after a while, he gave me an assignment. It was to draw different expressions. Uh -huh. So I drew nine faces. Oh, wow. And then after that, it turned more into something of a project. I traced it over with a pen, then I colored it. And my dad was so impressed. He was like, oh my God, he took this way overboard, but I'm impressed. Oh, <laughs> so he thought it was originally just a hobby. And then you just, just ex went out of control. And he was like, OK, this, this is your career. Pretty much. Pretty much. That's awesome. So they've been very supportive throughout. Yeah. So are, do, would you, do you aspire to be like your parents? I mean, are they mm. artists as well? Yeah, they're both artists. Uh -huh. And, and is, do you see yourself going in the same direction as them? Yeah. Yeah? What do, what do they do? Um, my parents both do art with the computer. Um, the style and what they do is very different, though. Okay. Um, my mom does like graphic design for like um, websites, uh, games, apps. Oh, nice, very nice. Apps? I love apps. What kind of apps? <laughs> Tell me about that. Um, well, recently she just did um, an app for a new TV show 
from Amazon called Tumble Leaf. Oh, wow, okay. It's for like three-year-olds, and she just made the game for it. Sounds like fun. Yeah. Well, I'll be looking for that, and uh, who knows? I mean, you might be doing something completely different as quickly as technology changes, huh? So you do aspire to do something in, along the lines of your parents. Um, are there, is there anything in your work that you feel you can improve upon right now? Um, yeah, I think I need to do a lot more background and stuff. Like environmental, circumstantial stuff. What is it yeah. that you focus on now? Right now, I do a lot more character design. Just drawing the character only, maybe a few express different expressions next to them. Very nice. So you focus on the roles, but you definitely like to work on, on the background. Very nice. Well, Ashley, we're wrapping it up right now. Um, do you mind sticking around later on to judge the contestants that we have sure. on the show? Awesome. And would love to invite the audience to stick around as well so that they can join us for some games. Thank you very much, Ashley. It's great having you on our show. Welcome back. Today we're going to be testing out the app, Pen and Ink, and I've got two lovely guests that are going to be giving it a try. What's your name? Gladys. Adela. Both of them think they're budding ice. Let's see if they can work their magic. Come on. Right, ladies, you're going to get started. You've got a choice of a flower, a person, or an animal of your choice. Come on, you've got a couple of minutes. Give it a try and the winner gets a lovely prize. What are you going to draw? It's a secret. What are you going to draw? Wow, that's amazing, is that? You were a born artist, weren't you? What's so funny about blank canvas? <laughs> You're inspiring me. I'm you. Nice to know that I'm in your thoughts, eh? You're blue. Different time period. He had plenty of time. He didn't have iPads back then. That's awesome. Wow. Go. Right. What? Last ten seconds. What do you think so far? Great, they're wow. both really nice. You can see that one person's definitely got uh, wow. in their blood for sure. <laughs> <laughs> that one kind of looks like you. Yeah, this was inspiring. Yeah, yeah? this is him. Like I said, can see the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the little hair. Yeah, yeah, it's right there in the middle. Girls, it's up to you to decide. Okay, so. Yes. Okay, I think we both agree. Uh, it's going to be the flowers. Flowers. Where did your inspiration come from? My mom wrote some flowers. Oh, really? Yeah. Right. I've got a lovely prize for the winner. I've got consolation prize for the loser. Oh. <laughs> right, okay. We need to put that one on. There you are. And I've got a little set, an art set for you. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> Does it fit? Well, I'll take it. it. <laughs> and, and for Adela, the inspiring person that she is, she drew me, I've got a bag to cover her head. <laughs> 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 Thank you.
you for that, guys. Thank you for tuning in, and we're going to go on to the next segment. Thank you. <laughs> What's up, Turned Up Techies? It's your man Reed Young here in downtown LA. We're chilling with my man Robert Vargas. How you doing, Robert? I'm doing good, man. All right, Thank man. you for nice, having me. Nice meeting you, man. Um, so before we were talking about a little bit about yourself, can you tell a little background of growing up about inspiration you get from painting? Um, I'm born and raised here in Los Angeles, uh, specifically Boyle Heights. Um, my uh, my influences growing up were uh, were not really artistic. Okay. Um, actually, you know, I have my my drawing and painting heroes like everyone else. However, my uh, my real influences came from set design and fashion and okay. the cinema. Um, you know, everything from uh, from like musicians and, and of the like, just creatives, uh, okay. not necessarily uh, artists. Okay. And I noticed, uh, you know, when you're doing your art, everything is organic. You like everything to happen. Whatever happens, happens. So, I want. How did you come up, come with that inspiration in terms of creating everything organic? Well, I think that there's a uh, there's a conception uh, or a conceptual kind of uh, thought process that goes into my creative process. Um, so it's not always kind of going in blind. However, um, the the uh, maybe the subject uh, model is uh, is kind of uh, picked randomly. However, maybe the 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 pose or the idea or the rhythm of it all it, it kind of uh, there, there's a thought process to it. Um, I've I've never actually considered myself a like, the live painter. Okay. Um, my kind of uh, approach to painting live is just really making my creative process accessible for the people. Um, turning, say for example, you know, this corner into my studio when I paint, when I painted this mural or, or when I create something on the ground where I'm working um, in a different format. It's all very much uh, kind of part of my vocabulary as an artist. It's a different language. But, uh, but making art accessible and painting live where people can be a part of the process, um, sometimes that intangible goes a long way because if they can't afford the piece, they can take that experience home with them. Of course, of course. So I wanted to ask you, our show is about turned up tech and we're talking about art. So what kind of uh, social media or anything used technology-wise to promote your art? With the advent of Instagram and Twitter, um, these uh, kind of, um, Image conscious. Of course, one of the things I we talked about before was you being in charge of your work, being independent, having that freedom, but also working with big corporations. So, can you tell us about things that you have done uh, lately that have been working with corporations? Um, well, for example, this mural is uh, currently in a worldwide mini Cooper commercial. Um, it's also in a, uh, in a Comcast commercial, a Chevy commercial. Um, and uh, was uh, being considered for an, an American Idol kind of opening spot. And the mural's not even a year old, um, but I think it's also a testament to the, um, to its, its connection with the community, its connection with the city, and its ongoing dialogue with the community um, that both the mural and I think I have, it's all kind of synergistic. Of course, uh, of course. It's all one. So, um, you know, I've done uh, several different things. I also just did something with, uh, with Disney and uh, Ness, who I'm also developing a, a clothing collection for. And um, uh, uh, Star Wars, uh, we all kind of collaborated a few weeks ago for uh, May the 4th. Really kind of challenging but exciting, uh, fun thing to do that, that engaged the, uh, the viewer. Um, Star Wars fans are really, uh, 
really awesome. You know, I, I personally, I don't trust anyone who's not a Star Wars fan, so <laughs> I'm digging the shirt. Um, so it was a cool experience and a, a great collaboration uh, to team up with such a, an amazing global brand like Disney and Lucasfilm. And, um, who knows what the future holds with us. Uh, right now, the t two Stormtrooper images that I painted, one hangs in the Neff offices and one hangs in the Disney offices. Oh, wow. So, uh, it's pretty cool. That's awesome, Robert. I wanted to ask you, too, about uh, the future for artists. Um, if you had some uh, knowledge to give to expiring artists, what would you tell them? I think we all, um, as artists, really, like, uh, control our own destiny and have the ability to shape the way a city's history is written and um, you know your your voice as an artist is so is so powerful what upcoming uh, events you have uh, for us um, I'm about to endeavor on several uh, murals which I, I think are going to also change the landscape of the city here um, one is a four-story mural which I'm actually going to be painting right across the street okay and then another uh, mural is uh, a six-story mural okay. over near Figaro and Ninth, um, which is a really important corridor. And then, of course, uh, a 14-story mural, which is going to be the largest mural on the West Coast, oh, wow. um, which uh, I will be painting alone. So oh, that's going to be pretty exciting. I'm going to hang on one of those window washer kind of <laughs> stages. Wow, that's get awesome. my Spider-Man on. <laughs> that's your Spider-Man on. Yeah, okay. but that, that's going to be really exciting. I also have a um, a solo show at Bergamot Station in Santa Monica coming okay. up in July. So, a uh, really exciting summer coming up. Okay, so is there a, a website or Facebook you have that some people can follow you on? Sure, um, Twitter and Instagram, it's uh, The Robert Vargas. Okay. And uh, Facebook is simply Robert Vargas. Okay, all right, cool. Robert, yeah. thank you so much, I appreciate it. Cool. Listen, folks, that's it for our Turned Up Tech. I'm your man, Reed Young. This is Robert Vargas. Please check him out. He's an upcoming artist. Been down here in downtown LA. We appreciate him doing the interview and doing the painting. Going back to the studios to Neil. Take care, guys. Welcome back, everyone. I'd like to say thank you to everyone that's involved in the making of this show. I'd like to thank all the guests that have been involved. But first of all, I'm going to let the viewers in the, in the world see a recap of the shows. Thank you very much for everyone that's involved. I'd like to bring everyone in from the back. Come on, everyone. Join us, come on, everyone.